Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jira work management tutorial, we'll continue our discussion and we have created a couple of issues. Now let's understand the flow of work in the business projects. Now, if you are coming from Jira software, this is nothing new. The flow of work for a business project will look very similar to Jira software. But if you are from the business background and you are looking at the Jira for the first time, I would uh, like to cover what will be the flow of work and what workflow is basically right so if you go to the board here right on the board you will see all the issues that we have created are available and there are certain columns available right now this is what the transparency that uh, jira brings because you can view or everyone in the team who has access to this particular project can view the work items on the board and where exactly those work items are at the particular time right so this screen that you see here the board is basically the the underlying flow of work that happens this screen is mapped to a workflow right or the process that these issues follow from start to finish right so when when you are trying to hire a candidate you will get an applications then you will do the screening interviewing debrief other discussion or offer discussions and then either the candidate can be accepted or rejected right now if you go to any of these issues right so if I click on that particular issue if you want to see what workflow this particular issue follows how the work workflow looks like okay so we can simply go to this particular issue and just click on this drop down here right and here you will see the transitions that are available from screening so either from screening can go to interviewing or it can be rejected and let's see the workflow so click on view workflow and it will open the recruitment workflow right this is the workflow that is being tied up to that particular board okay so you can once you create an issue it goes to the application state then when you move it to the screening it comes to the screening and from screening it can either go to the rejected right or it can go to interviewing okay so on the board you can move it to interviewing or from the board you can directly drag and drop the issue to the rejected column as well but you cannot move it back as you can see there is just single arrow from applications to screening you cannot move it back to applications you cannot move it back you cannot move it forward from screening to interview debrief it has to go to interviewing or rejected from interviewing it can be rejected or it can go to debrief from debrief if the candidate is offered they can go to the offer discussion or from here it can be rejected right so you can see that each of these states that are there from there a candidate can be rejected or move further to the next step but you can't if the offer discussions are going on you can't move that particular issue to interview debrief right because this this you will be moving the issue from interview debrief to offer discussion only if debrief has been completed so that's the understood thing and that's how the workflow has been designed now this is the default workflow if you want this workflow to be updated and your project uses the onboarding or there are some different uh, statuses that you want to cover as part of the onboarding this is absolutely possible right so you can create a custom workflow and associate with the project that you are doing so that is all possible but that can be done by the administrator or the Jira administrator from your organization so this is how the workflow default workflow will look like so let me um, just close it all right so now if I as I explained that I can either move this issue to interviewing or to reject it right so that's how you will see that whether the why I'm not able to move this issue to interview deb debrief this is the reason because the underlying workflow itself is not allowing you to move directly to interview debrief it is allowing either to move it to rejected or to interviewing state once I move it to interviewing state then I can either move it to debrief or rejected and where whichever statuses you can move the issue to will be highlighted in this dotted lines okay I can't move it you know any any further back okay so that's how the workflow for these issues works for a project and as I mentioned in the first tutorial itself that any work that you need to do will consist of the work items or issues is if we say in Jira and those work items follow certain process from start to finish and this is the process this is the workflow that these work items need to follow for your organization to hire the candidates right and this is what you are going to follow your HR team is going to follow to offer the candidate the job role or to reject them so this is basically how the workflow is now moving further and looking at some other aspects of these issues right so this is how the board will look 
apply the underlying workflow and if we go to the calendar as we have mentioned that calendar view shows you what is the due date of these particular issues so with the calendar view for a particular month if somebody goes and have a look they can see what is some what is basically pending and what needs to be done in near future so this is very very important feature of jira work management so if we go to the timeline then this will show the issues in the timeline fashion right so all of these issues so if you just hover over there is no start date because we haven't uh, specified and then there is an end date right so whatever end date that we have specified will be displayed for those issues in the timeline fashion all right so this will help you to visualize how many issues are being are uh, how many issues need to be completed in a particular month and etc okay so that gives a visual representation how much you know time basically an issue can take so say for example i want to specify the start date right so i can just drag it right so say for example i want to get this particular issue start today right and then maybe finish in august right so this might be you know a lengthy lengthy issue or lengthy onboarding process uh, then i can adjust these sliders and the dates will get updated accordingly for this particular issue now the issue end date should be 15th of august right so if you go to this rr4 you will see that the due date is 15th of august and the start date is automatically updated as well okay so this is what the timeline will help you to analyze what is the basic what is the duration of the work item uh, how long that particular work item is going to span what is the start and finish date for that okay then if we move further in the issues we can search for the issues okay so this is what will cover in the next tutorial how you can search and what different types of search options are available in jira work management so that's all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching